Hi, I'm Tom Pratt. I'm a developmental neurobiologist. My research is into the area of understanding how the brain develops in the womb. It took several billion years for the brain to evolve from the emergence of life on Earth. In stark contrast, it takes a matter of weeks for the brain to develop from a fertilised egg in the womb. Central to this remarkable process is the ability of cells to communicate with each other. My research is based on understanding how this molecular language functions. Building a brain is a bit like a very large construction project. Our brains are comprised of trillions of cells, but if we imagine each cell was the size of one of these bricks, then our brain would be as big as a mountain. Now, with a construction project, we're very used to the idea of builders talking to each other, looking at blueprints, putting the bricks together. But brain cells don't have that advantage. Brain cells essentially have to multiply themselves, then they have to tell each other where to go. Essentially, the brain is self-assembled. We are very used to talking to each other and using words, pictures and diagrams. But again, brain cells can't do that. What brain cells need to do is talk to each other. This brick has to tell this brick where to go. And this is what it really looks like. This is a highly magnified picture of a small part of the developing brain. What we see here is a nerve bundle connecting the left and right sides of the brain. And the formation of this bundle is supported by many, many different types of cells. Two important types of cells are shown here. These ones labelled in blue and these ones labelled in green guide the red nerve fibres across the centre of the brain. The amount of organisation in this is incredible and we do not understand how it comes about. That is what I am trying to understand. If you want to know more about what I'm up to, please search for our Facebook page, Mind Your Brain. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.